Well, it was a journey to get here, but here we are. I am back with a vlog. I couldn't stay away too long, but we are at Trader Joe's, which is kind of a little bit of a trek for us, but today's drive here was crazy. There was so much traffic. I had to stop twice for kid-related things, and but here we are. We made it, and I love coming out to Trader Joe's around this time. It might be a little bit early. I don't know if they're gonna have any of their like Christmas items yet, but they have just really fun, like entertaining things, things that I can throw in my freezer to pull out if we have a last minute gathering, or I love getting teacher gifts, neighbor gifts here, because again, it's not that close to us, so my neighbors may not really come out here. Who knows, maybe they do come out here like I do. Who knows? So let's go inside and see what they have in stock. Again, not sure if the Christmas stuff is out yet, but let's go inside and see. Well, I can't say that was super productive, unfortunately, or super successful. The Christmas stuff is not out yet. There were maybe a handful of things, but I'm definitely way too early, which I guess is a good thing. They had all their fall things, all their Thanksgiving products. So I guess that's, you know, that's a good thing. So I did get a couple things. I'll show you when I get home. I haven't even had breakfast yet, so I am really hungry. We're gonna go home and do that. Croissant in the car seat. Not the best life choice I've ever made. All right, I'll quickly show you what I got because I need to get these things in the freezer. I got some puff pastry to do either like a sweet or savory thing. I found this chicken fried rice. I just grabbed two of these and some mandarin chicken to just stick in the freezer for a quick meal. I was so excited to find this because we love that show Somebody Feed Phil and they did an episode in Seoul, Korea and this is a big a popular dish there, so I just thought that was so cool to find it at Trader Joe's. This naan I'm actually going to use for dinner tonight. I also found these scallion pancakes, green onion pancakes, looked delicious, so I'll just tuck those away. And then the boys had some of this yogurt while we were shopping. They also had a croissant. They split one of those while we were shopping. And then I got some frozen croissants. These I have had, they're really, really good. You take them out the night before and let them proof overnight and they like triple in size and then you bake them. And they're really good, good for like overnight guests or again, just a quick meal. My son also picked out these cheddar puffs. I got tissues and bananas. And then I found this fig butter. So I'm assuming it's gonna be thicker than just regular fig jelly or jam. And I'd actually like to make a fig cookie for Christmas time. So I thought that was a good one to pick up. The 21 Seasoning Salute is a favorite. So I just grabbed two of those. They're only like $1.99. So I just got an extra one to have on hand. I got some hemp seeds. We love putting those in our smoothies in or on. My kids actually love them. And then I saw they had just some shelf stable cream, which I don't know, not my first choice, but I just thought that'd be something good to stick in the pantry again. If you need it, it would be nice to have. And then I found these room sprays. They had two different fragrances. This one is pomander, which are like those oranges that you stick the cloves in. So that's basically what the scent is. I have their teacher gifts kind of already in progress. So this I will throw in there as well. I think they were only $1.99. So that was everything I got. I'm gonna get these things in the freezer. Boys are just playing outside right now. We'll play just for a little bit. It's already pretty late, like I said. So we're gonna do a lunch and then nap time. Yeah, this was not how my morning, I was planning it to be, but that's how life is, right? You just gotta adapt and adjust. I have a lot that I would like to accomplish during nap time, 
So hopefully we can get this morning going. So during nap time, my goal is to be working through my Christmas planner and the Christmas timeline. So we are kind of between eight and seven weeks from Christmas. So as of eight weeks, the goals were to brainstorm gift ideas, which I did. Take our family photos, did that. Make and freeze cookie dough balls. Yes, you saw that was done. I have some things on my calendar, but there are more that I could add just so I don't forget anything. But this bottom one, this is what I wanna focus on today. Cleaning out the pantry and freezer. And by clean out, I mean more along the lines of inventorying what I have like just being aware of what is in my freezer, what's in my pantry, and then using those items because as we get into the Christmas season, Thanksgiving season, there's just an influx of more food products, more ingredients, more parties and gatherings. So I just feel like we're bringing in so much more food that I want to really use up and just know what I already have on hand. That way I don't over purchase and say there's things in our freezer. I wanna just go ahead and eat them and you know, use them before I add more into the pile. Oh, that's actually butternut squash. That's not mango. But you can put that in the freezer here. He went down to our basement freezer to try to get some mango, but brought up butternut squash. So we're, I'm gonna make a smoothie for him and then I'm gonna kind of do a quick inventory and clean out, you know, just kind of seeing if there's anything we can eat throughout this next week or two from our pantry and our freezer. All right, here's how the pantry is looking before. There's just all sorts of stuff piled on the bottom, some new things, some Halloween things, and like all of the Halloween candy. These are for teacher gifts. So I just need to, I don't know, reassess what's in here. We got stuff falling down, it's just crazy. So I just restocked flour as well because I did all that baking. So I'm gonna try to tidy this up. All right, first step, I moved the Halloween candy, which the kids have already sorted. And this actually, this basket is from the top of our refrigerator, so that's a good spot for it. Okay, I got the floor cleaned out. This I will put back in there, it's just two really large, I think they're the 10 pound bags of flour, and then two big bags of potatoes, and one is just for our regular meals. One I'm actually gonna be doing a freezer meal, so that's why I have a lot of potatoes. This is also for freezer meals, so I can actually put that down in the basement. I don't have to have that up here. This I will just slide back in here, but I just wanted to kind of show you how it's looking now. It's really not too bad. I have a lot of artichokes, but those can definitely be eaten. I just need to remember that I have them. And I have a lot of beans in here. I'm actually thinking of making some hummus for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna bring that up. And then I have like some barley. I could definitely put that in soups. I just kind of forget I have it again. Buckwheat, some lentils, all those are good. Good grains to use up. And then here I just have Again, overflow flours, different types of flour and sugar. More pasta sauce, okay, brown sugar. Okay, I haven't looked at my, I haven't pre-looked at my freezer, so don't judge. Let's see what we have going on in here. The one thing I did was put in the, the yogurts and the things from Trader Joe's. This is ice, I could actually just refill our ice container, hold on. Okay, that's refilled. So I have the naan for dinner tonight. Our ice packs I try to keep here in the front. We have like some bigger ones in the back there. I use that mostly in the summer. I don't like pack lunch to go as often in the winter. So really that could probably go down to our basement freezer. Frozen soup that we've been working through and then I have some chicken, some bread. Okay, more freezer things here. Like, yeah, like this little ice pack, I could probably get out of here. It's kind of taking up space needlessly. Some bread, honestly, this has been in there for so long. I should probably use that really soon. And like these empanada discs. Um, I should research if there's something else I could use these for instead of just making empanadas, which I could make. I have like one Uncrustable from a very long time ago, but it's just funny because I have kids, multiple children, so how do I give one out, you know? So there it sits. And then I have like smoothie ingredients. Oh, this I should really use up. I made strombolis a while ago, 
and this was the, again the last one so it's like it's not enough for everybody so it just sits in here some old cheese that i can probably get rid of um meatballs that i made and a little bit of corn okay so i feel like this is very usable i can use all these items i just have to remember that i have them so I was just taking out my food processor to make the hummus and I found this. I got this for Christmas last year. I did ask for it because it's so beautiful. I think they were selling them. So House on the Hill is its own company, but I think it was King Arthur was selling these molds. So they are wooden molds. Aren't they so beautiful? But you basically can make like a shortbread cookie with these. And there is some technique to it. Obviously I haven't used it yet, so I'm interested to try it this year and see how it goes. But isn't it so gorgeous? Okay, so for the hummus, you just need a can of chickpeas, need olive oil, tahini, salt, cumin, garlic. And then unfortunately I don't have any fresh lemon. I thought I did. So, is this crazy? I saw this in my refrigerator and I thought, huh, I wonder if I could use just a little bit of this to give it a lemon flavor. Okay, hummus is done. I added a little extra salt and a little bit of this 21 seasoning salute because it really is so tasty. So that's perfect. I'm gonna put that in a little container and that'll be with dinner tonight. It's good, Mommy. It is good. And I'll also serve some of the artichokes. And these are actually perfect also for a really nice, like, entertaining salad. And I did a video about some salads. And I can link to it if you're interested. But I'll serve that with the hummus if there's any left because Luke keeps eating it. And I'm going to marinate some chicken right now and just have kind of like a Mediterranean Hi. dinner using up some pantry staples. All right, dinner's prepped and kitchen is mostly cleaned up. It's still quiet time, so I have about an hour to get some things done on the computer. I have to work on a video, and then I'll have my smoothie, and then I need to switch over laundry, of course. And by that time, that's pretty much going to fill up the rest of quiet time. All right, we're back home. I've been taking down the Halloween things from upstairs. We had some dishes and this guy, and I have to fit it in here and then get it back up on this shelf. And I wanted to kind of take you into the my deep freezer and show you what was going on in here. I might do a little tidying first and then it'll make more sense. In these blue bags, I keep frozen fruit in the top one, so smoothie ingredients or just fruit, you know, any kind of fruit. And then the bottom one is all full of frozen veggies, so all different kinds of things in there. And then we have some meat at the bottom, uh, and then some hot dog buns, and then the things I got at Trader Joe's today. All of my Christmas cookies are down here, and then you know, breads and the croissants on top. So this is actually very light. This is not, you know, I would like to have this more well stocked and we will be stocking it with meat hopefully in the next few months. So this is actually good. I'm glad that there's not a ton of like waste in here, not waste, but things that I might be forgetting about because all of this will absolutely be used pretty quickly. You know, I have room to add things. So that's good to know. So the kids are just watching a TV show right now. They're very into Nailed It. We never have watched that show and we've watched so many episodes already. It's just so fun to watch together and they just think it's hilarious. So they're watching that now and there's like a whole holiday like season. So that's something to look forward to. And then tonight I actually have to eat a little bit early because I have my daughter's conferences from school at school, I scheduled them to be back to back on purpose so that I could just go to one and then go to the other because they ran all day on, you know, two days ago and today as well. After dinner, I will pretty much head right out and go to those. Another area I've been wanting to tackle and kind of declutter in preparation for just the holiday time is this closet. You can see it's kind of a wreck. Uh, yes, when the one and a half year old gets in here and pulls everything out, it just makes a huge mess and I just don't even always bother to clean it up. I just shut the doors and 
deal with it at a later time. So now is that later time. This is my wrapping paper organizer. So that is actually really handy. That's where I keep all my Christmas wrapping and just year round gift wrapping. But it's kind of like not laying in there straight. I need to go through coats and assess which ones are being worn now, which ones maybe if they're not being worn as frequently, maybe I can move them to bedroom closets if they're not being worn on a regular basis. And then the bottom section, I kind of rotate games that we're using more frequently. And these are the very few puzzles that we own. I know I've mentioned before how I'm kind of, I don't do a lot of puzzles, but these to me are more like pre-K puzzle, educational puzzles. They're not just like the toddler ones because this is what a toddler does with puzzles. They just throw the pieces around. So they're more for my, for my older son. So I have other games up here that I kind of rotate and pull down from. Those are our Christmas cards that are ready. So yes, there's just, this needs to be gone through. Okay, coats are looking much better. Mine are off to the back and then I tried to not double up too many things and only have two coats per hanger if needed. Because we're in that weird season where sometimes you need a sweatshirt, sometimes a vest is enough, sometimes you need a raincoat, sometimes you need a heavier coat. So you kind of need like multiple options. So even with spreading them out a little bit, I did clear out a few hangers. I have two on the couch here. This is kind of like my playing in the snow, you know, going out in the snow jacket. So it's really not worn all that much. This was a raincoat that I bought that actually turned out to be very much not waterproof so that was unfortunate so I'm, I never wear it because it is no more waterproof than my other ones and then some of these will be donated this will be for Jude for this winter or next this I can move into my closet this one is too small so that will be donated and then this bag my big flag bag that i like to call it this was my kind of pool bag and summer bags we still have like summer sweatshirts in here pool towels so i'll clear all that out because i do use that for like holiday time and just anytime we're going somewhere and i know i need to bring things or we're going to be bringing a lot back home um it's good to use that so i'm going to clear this out put the towels probably in the kids bedrooms and there's probably bathing suits in there. I don't know, I have to go through it. So I pulled these shoes out and I texted my husband just to see if there's any that maybe he's not using. There are some more in here that I used more frequently. And then I've just been sweeping out these little bottom shoe areas. All right, he said these four can go, so that's great. I'm gonna get all that back in there. I just swept it out. All right, make that five pairs. I can uh, stick my finger through those. Okay, that is looking so much better. So much neater. I was able to tuck the flag bag just off to the side, hanging on a hook because I don't use it as much, or on a hanger, I should say. And then I wanna go through these coats and hoodies and things with my husband. I don't quite know what he wants to keep or not, but he did manage to get rid of, like I said, five pairs of shoes, so I totally cleared out that section. And then over here is looking so much better. It's really not too messy, just games, Legos, things like that and our Christmas cards, like I mentioned. So these only need a minute to a minute and a half at 400, which is actually, my oven was at 420 to cook the chicken. So I'm just gonna pop these in and chop up the other items. And that will be our quick dinner tonight. So there are four in here. These look great. I was actually debating, or this morning, I was thinking of making some myself to have for dinner tonight. And then I was gonna make some kind of a flatbread. And then when I saw them at Trader Joe's, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna take a little help and just have these. So I'm gonna pop them in the oven. And then when they come out and they're nice and warm, I'm gonna brush a little butter on top and they'll be extra delicious. And then I think I'm gonna cut up some carrots as well. We have a ton of carrots. And then that'll just be an extra thing for the kids to have or anybody that we can also dip in the hummus. All right, so there's our pantry and fridge clearing meal for today. The hummus turned out so good. I can link the recipe, it's so easy. So this is gonna be a great dinner. I wish I had some feta cheese, but uh, you know, it's still gonna be good. All right, back home, and we are gonna celebrate two good reports at school with this half of a frozen <laughs> chocolate cake that we didn't finish and just 
tucked away, so we're gonna bring it out and serve it tonight. So we had our cake, and then we had a family movie night. We watched Men in Black, and it was so funny. The kids loved it. So that was it for today's vlog for doing a little bit of holiday prep. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye.